Uh, the guy that I do want to hit on, which, uh, by the way, today was uh, Georgia, Tennessee, A&M, and Ole Miss. Uh, Lane Kiffin uh, is on the podium as we speak right now, so I haven't heard what he has said. But the other guys, kind of boring today. Kind of boring today. But Shane Beamer yesterday, highly impressive. Uh, he has got a certain swagger about him that I wasn't quite expecting. Now, obviously, we had heard about it. Everybody had talked about, oh, he's the, he's the guy. Even though he hadn't been a coordinator and he hadn't called plays, he hadn't, you know, been in like a big-time leadership position, but he's got it in his genes, and he got up there yesterday, and he was talking about his dad, you know, being contacted about the, uh, about the Alabama job forever ago and, and all the stuff that he went through when he was at South Carolina before and what he's been through at Oklahoma and how he's going to build this thing coming back. I mean, he, he filibustered for 20-something minutes. I mean, he was up there forever, it felt like. But his stories were entertaining. And then, of course, you've got him recreating the Arby's picture that Steve Spurrier did years ago when he was the head coach at South Carolina, where he's got his sunglasses on and he's eating the roast beef sandwich or whatever. Like, he's hilarious. And, and I don't know that it translates to being able to rebuild a program, but if you've got a guy like that that can connect with so many people, I mean, there's a reason he got the job, right? I, I think he could be the guy that can actually resuscitate South Carolina's football program. Give yeah. me your thought. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I agree. I didn't know if there was a question in there. No, no, I just I was going to let you, uh, uh, you know, feed off of it. I, I know that you were you were impressed with him yesterday. Uh, we were, you know, texting back and forth about this uh, in our I mean, group I thought chat. The picture was cool. I thought I thought you know he's got some character. I could see how he got the job. Okay. Yes. But before actually getting to hear this part of him, I had a real struggle with how in the hell do you go into interviews with the 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 quality of people that we kind of that I I had in mind for this job. And and most of those guys don't even get interviewed. And yeah. and you walk out with Shane Beamer and getting the job, like getting the job immediately getting the job. Oh, it's it's um, not highly thought of. I mean, it, it across the board, he I mean, it, all of these different publications do a, a ranking of like the top, you know, there's 65 power five schools. They would do a ranking and he is at the bottom. Like he was number 65 in the CBS when he's like 63 in one of the other ones. Like nobody seems to believe that this is going to go well, but you know, they all said the same thing about Ed Orgeron. They all said the same thing about Dabo Sweeney. Uh, maybe some guys just got it, you know, yep. I, th I, I think he I might now, be one. I now know how he got the job. And and I and I like that. And I like the swagger. I thought he was funny. I thought he had a personality. I'm okay with all that. Let's see if he can coach. Yeah. No. I I think there was a a part of his press conference where he was talking about we are going to throw to the tight end. We want our tight ends to be playmakers. That they are in it deep with a four star tight end that has got offers from Clemson and uh, offers from Alabama and Florida and blah 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 blah. And I mean he was basically calling out this tight end in the middle of his media day presser, which is, you know, it takes some stones to get up there and, and do that and show that much uh, support for one guy. But I think he's going to do this over and over again, man. I'm a, I'm a big fan of this. Uh, thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.